After setting the recording channel, you have to set the microphone recording level. It is very important to get the correct volume level during recording. Otherwise, you won't get desired output in post-processing. Audacity has two meter toolbars to assist with this. This meter with the microphone is the recording meter, and this meter with the speaker icon is the playback meter. We will focus on the recording meter in this lecture. Every sound you want to capture during recording should be around minus 24 to minus 12 in this recording meter. That means the level should cross minus 24 every time, and the peak should remain around minus 12. The peak volume during recording has not to be precisely at minus 12. If sometimes it crosses minus 12 and reaches minus 10 or minus 9, that is not a problem. To see where the recording level is reaching, click on the microphone and start monitoring. A green progress bar is seen on the meter. Keep in mind when you are monitoring the recording level, it is not actually recording your audio, it is just showing the current recording level in the microphone. It is possible to rearrange and drag the meter to increase its size. That gives you a better look into where the meter is hitting. There is a slider icon in the meter that adjusts the recording volume. If I drag the slider to set a lower recording level, you will notice the meter is hitting around minus 57. Double clicking on the slider icon opens up a pop up where you can see the slider value. The maximum is 1, and you can adjust as you need. For me, recording at the maximum volume gives the desired level in the recording meter. So I am keeping the slider at the maximum point. If you are not getting the recording level around minus 12, you may need to get closer to the microphone. Talking too close to the microphone may take the recording level to the red zone. You have to avoid that. When the meter hits the red zone, you may face clipping or distortion in the sound. So it is a big no to get into the red zone during recording. You may need to adjust the microphone position or may need to reduce the recording volume in the slider. The big question is why the correct recording level is important. Because you may boost some signals in the post-processing and the boost will result in clipping if you record in an already high volume. You can always increase your volume level in post-processing. In general, aim for reaching around minus 12 in the meter during the loudest parts of the audio. If you have some background noise in the distance which needs to be buried down or get a strong hissing noise during recording, you can go up to minus 6 in the meter. Because if you already have some noticeable noise, boosting will increase that. Of course, you should try to get as little noise as possible during recording. But if the situation is not in control, then you can record close to minus 6 in the recording meter. If I summarize the recording level goal, it should be around minus 12 in a quiet recording environment. A little bit above minus 12 or a little bit lower than minus 12 will not matter much. You can always boost a bit of low-level recording in the post-processing. But if you capture a recording that is already clipped, it is not possible to get those signals back in post-processing. We will learn details about this as we go through this course.